hi my husband and i are out on a hike today on some crown land and we've just stopped by a beautiful creek and we've decided to make a fire and have a cup of tea um, I love um, collecting wild edibles and sometimes it's nice to find a tea as well. Um, a tea won't give you the calories um, that the wild plants do if you eat them, but it will give you the nutrients and the vitamins and a real sense of satisfaction in making um, your own drink when you're out in the wild. So the, the tea I want to make today is um, yellow birch tea. Um, this is a yellow birch right here. Um, in case you, you don't know them, um, they're like birch in that they have a paper on them, but the paper doesn't come off in sheets. It comes off kind of stragglier like this. And the bark itself has a beautiful color. In sunlight it can look coppery or even golden. It's one of the most beautiful trees I've ever seen uh, in sunlight. I don't know if you can see it here. Um, but anyways, um, what you want on this tree are the twigs. The new twigs um, that are just growing um, taste like wintergreen. And um, if you cut a few of these and you crush them um, or split the stems and put them in boiling water, you'll get a tea that tastes just like wintergreen. It's quite lovely. Um, anyways, I'm going to collect a few and uh, we'll brew it up. Now, as you can see, the sap is actually dripping out from where I cut this small branch. And uh, this time of year, you can actually tap these trees for, a for, for the sap, which tastes just like sugary water. It's delicious. Anyways, we're not going to tap this tree, but uh, I just wanted to throw that in there. It's beautiful. All right, let's make that tea. So we have a little fire going here, and the water is uh, sitting by the fire, and it should be boiling pretty soon. I'm going to let the, um, the water with the uh, yellow birch twigs boil for 15 minutes so that the flavor comes out of the, the birch twigs and into the water, and then we're going to have a cup of tea. You know it's finished brewing when it gets a, a, a yellow color to it. It's delicious. It tastes just like wintergreen. It's very refreshing and um, a mild taste, but, but delicious. I want to show you what the twigs look like in the pot. So here they are. You just break them up and crush them a bit. This isn't a lot. Um, the, the flavor is, is very mild. So if you want a stronger wintergreeny taste, put in even more twigs than this. this was, uh, I made this for two people, and I would have even put in more to get a stronger taste. Thanks for watching.